Like some of that. Um, I don't know, man. I just of the time I have, I have been spending a lot more of it on stuff that needs to get done, or things that I know should be getting done, but I still feel like I'm not doing enough. Or it's like, yeah, I'm doing it. But like, I'm gonna get a job soon. I've been saying that, and I've, and I've been thinking like, I gotta stop talking about it till I actually do it. Cause it's kind of like stupid if I just keep saying, you know, whatever, but it is in the works. You know, I have some things going on. My license is coming up. Get a job, end of the semester is coming. I just finished my whole racing shit. You know, I'm gonna start my cut and all that and you know um feels like the stuff I'm doing now even though I, I know I need to do more like get a job I really need a job I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna have time for it I I, I don't and it's scary and just cuz I don't want it what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get the job I'm gonna have to push some things aside that right now I would consider mandatory, right? Maybe like the gym, for example. I don't see a reality where I ever stop going to the gym because of work, but like, it's an example. You know, I, I feel like I'm just gonna end up cutting things out and I'm not gonna get rid of the job. You know, let me make sure I'm recording. I'm gonna do the backlog on writing my shit. Today, my favorite. Can you stop? <sighs> um, but yeah. Like I'm, I'm really dreading when, when I actually do get the job, because, or a job, because again, I, I know it's going to drastically change my life, like the money, I need it, but besides that, how the fuck are my days going to look, you know, like, where's my time going to be to give to people, and it's a scary thought that I might not have any more of it but at the same time it's not scary because I know it needs to be done and if you know people decide to leave my life because I don't give them enough time then that's up to them you know besides that my favorite thing of the day with my girlfriend one thing I'm grateful for Um, grateful for intermittent fasting because it works you know I'm starting up my cut series um, not again it's not going to be a series it's, it's going to be one video when I'm done with the whole thing you know so I don't know how long that'll take, probably a month. I don't know. We're at like 700 subscribers now, which I feel like I just hit 500, which is pretty insane. Um, a thousand, I guess, yeah, it's coming up. That'd be nice, you know? I didn't expect I'd be at any subscribers at this point, maybe like 10 subscribers. You know, um, you know, cut.
cut's gonna be exciting. You know, I hope I just make it a habit of weighing myself every morning and taking a picture of it and then finding a pose to flex in or stand in so I can track the visual progress of it, you know. Um, and I also hope that the video serves to, you know, not convince, but, you know, inspire people to do, do it themselves. Like, when I made my Day in the Life video, like, looking back at it, like, at the video, um, I mean, it's, it's not inspiring, but I just hope that and my race series as well. I hope that in seeing how a way of doing it is, or how to do it, there's no one way, but seeing how to do it um, will just be the, the final step for some people. And, you know, it might push them to want to be great or, you know, better, uh, like, what, like what worked for me. You know, so I make sure to give explanations for what I do. In my videos so in my cut series basically weight loss journey um you know i have what i've been doing why like i recorded all that stuff today and i just really hope to inspire people that'd make me more happy than anything you know because i've been trying to do that for it's not like i've been trying to like i haven't been going out of my way to do it but when people have problems and i know the exact way to solve that it's just to do what I've been doing and really put life in your hands and take control and try and be good and master life. That's the solution and a ton of people don't have what it takes. So, you know, when I see the opportunity to maybe start talking about some of that stuff that I'm so passionate about and what worked for me, you know, I, I do it in the hopes of inspiring the other person to do it, but it's never worked because people just they're complaining about it for a reason. I don't complain about my problems to other people um, because that's not how they're gonna get solved. You know, so already if they're complaining about it, feel like they're trapped or they've accept accepted that that's just what their life is. Um, and yeah, it's a shame, but you know, I, I hope to inspire someone one day, you know, make someone like a little project of mine you know, like, you know, make them my little experiment and, you know, see if they could do what I did. And, you know, a lot of people wouldn't want to do what I do or, you know, like try and live the way that I live. Not that it's like so extreme or anything, but it's, it's about the mentality of it, like really loving everything. But just because it's a bit more stressful, when I think of how I used to be, which, trust me, it's a lot worse than you guys have ever been. Oh, well, probably like, as far as my capabilities, I was such a piece of shit. I was like worthless. If I heard all of that, if I heard greatness, I'd be like, yes, I want to. If I heard about all the work, I'd quit. You know? Just forgot where I was going with that. But yeah. Oh, the mentality. Um, what's so great about it? In redeeming about all the work that you do is because I have this mentality, every single thing that I do is absorbed um, everything that I know is good for me but I don't want to do I eventually learn to love it you know um, I start out in the gym because I know it's good for me but you know I didn't necessarily like it you know but the more I associate with the mentality of if I do this I will be greater than the people who don't do that it's when it really kicks for me you know starting college 
you know, with that mindset. And, and in high school, I didn't care too much about my grades and all that. And in college, you know, after my first semester, I didn't do the greatest. And, you know, I was like, I really want to do better, but like, I don't know if I care enough. Like it does, I don't know. I don't think it resonates with me enough. Like everything else does, you know, but the more I held on to that thought, like now I really care about my grades. Now it's the most focused I've been on, on my schooling ever. And it's what consumes most of my days, or at least like the things I work on. That's like what consumes the most. You know, it just makes things possible. You know, the things I know need to be done eventually get done. You know, there's no forever procrastinating because the things that I know are good for me are the things that I want to do because I know that they're going to improve my life. And I know that there's people out there who aren't willing to do that. You know, I might procrastinate sometimes, but I, I always get around to certain things, even if I might hate them. You know, the things that I hate, the more I do it, the more I'm going to like it. Not even not even like it, but, you know, me not shying away from something that'll make me uncomfortable is better than a lot of the population. I mean, I say a lot. I don't have any numbers or anything. Some of the population, I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. You know, like, today was just a day. Again, like... A job is gonna come soon, but I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna have time for it. I don't, I don't know. Like I'm, I plan on being pretty ambitious with this job and giving hours that I know I might not have. And it's like my my friend is a really busy guy, but his work is more work work, like occupational. What I call my work, a lot of it is, um, I choose to do it. You know, college is an exception. You know, that counts more as work work for me. But like, I feel like it'd be a lot easier to just do occupational work all day than do my kind of work all day just cause you have to be there. But I choose to do this stuff and it's all different and I have to, you know, I really have to find out how to schedule things. I have to schedule a lot. You know, like, just finding time for things. And, you know, I'm like, if, if he can be that busy and subject himself to what he subjects himself to, then I can. You know, which is what's been inspiring me to want to get this job even more. But, you know, we'll just have to see, you know, because I can't say anything right now. That's just how I'm feeling, you know. It feels like it'll be overwhelming. But who knows, I might work a lot less hours than I intended. You know, I don't know. It's almost summer anyways. So like, not summer, but like the semester is almost over. So it'd be a good time to do it then. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna dip because I don't really got shit to talk about. They threw away some SpongeBob cards that told me how to count cents. And here's another one. They're throwing things out. So. I don't know if that's trying to tell me how to pronounce it. Like, does that make the O sound go? Or is that OO? Because it's not goo, it's go. Unless that's like, it's, I don't think it'd be a different language. I don't know, I don't care about these fucking cards. They're gone. Peace.